Good evening, this is Left, Right and Center. I'm Nidhi Razdan. Tonight, a judicial commission has said that Rohit Pamula committed suicide for reasons best known to him, absolving the Hyderabad University of any wrongdoing and declaring that Rohit wasn't even a Dalit, as had been claimed. What is the truth of Rohit Vemula's suicide? We'll be looking at that story. And later on in the program, the Tripura chief minister accuses Doodarshan of blacking out his Independence Day address. Is Prasar Bharti's autonomy a myth? We'll be looking at that in about 30 minutes. But first, his death shook the political establishment last year. Rohit Vemula, a scholar at Hyderabad University, committed suicide in January 2016 after being suspended from his hostel. His family said he was a Dalit, which made the story even more politically explosive. And now the one-man judicial inquiry commission that was set up to probe his death has said that Rohit was not a Dalit and absolved the university of any role in it. Critics say that the report isn't fair and have refused to accept it. Uma Sudhir joining us now for more on that. Uma, this was such a big issue. You had, you know, central ministers from Smriti Rani to Mr. Dattatreya who were, you know, right in the middle of this controversy when Rohit died. What more can you tell us about this inquiry report and the reactions to it? The report itself was submitted in August last year and it is only now that the report has been made public. Of course, the report seems to have been selectively leaked at all times. Uh, uh, in a sense, it would appear that it, would, it was a meant to kind of prejudice public opinion as well because uh, those uh, those uh, leaks had also suggested that Rohit Vimula is in fact not a Dalit and that's what the report has found out. Whereas supporters of Rohit Vimula are pointing out that the terms of reference of this particular commission, one man judicial commission that was uh, headed by Justice uh, 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 Rupan Wal was uh, not meant to find out the cast of Rohit Vemula at all. What it was meant to do is in fact look into the lapses uh, or the omissions and commissions committed by the university authorities and the circumstances that in fact led to Rohit's de uh, death and also the fact that what kind of uh, you know uh, systems can be put in place to address grievances and now uh, what the supporters are also pointing out is that an unusual amount of space in the report has been taken up to, it has been devoted to the personal life of Rohit Vemula. It in fact says he's a very frustrated, lonely and pers person and it was because of personal reasons that he had committed suicide. It points out that the suicide note did not directly mention the university authorities, of course, conveniently ignoring an earlier note in which uh, Rohit Vemula had in fact uh, uh, written with, with a lot of anguish and spoken about the Dalit problems in the university. But it says that because one month has lapsed from then and that the expulsion of uh, Rohit Vemula and his friends from the university hostel, the report says, is not linked to the suicide at all. In a sense, giving a clean chit to both the union ministers as well as the vice chancellor of the university. And therefore, if he is not a Dalit, also the prevention of uh, atrocities against SCST Act, that would not apply to them. Back to you. All right, Uma, thanks a lot uh, for that update on that big story. And uh, uh, joining us on the program tonight, we have um, uh, writer Chandrabhan Prasad here in the studio with us, Mr. Rajat Sethi, Senior Research Fellow at the India Foundation, Professor Rakesh Sinha of the RSS, uh, Prashant Bhushan, Senior Advocate of the Supreme Court, and will be joined by Rohit Vamula's close friend, uh, Prashant Dhonta, in just, uh, in just a bit from Hyderabad. Uh, but let me first get comments from you, Mr. Chandrabhan Prasad. You know, the fact is, this is a judicial inquiry. It's a judicial commission that has gone into the circumstances that led up to Rohit's death. Are you going to accept this report? I mean, shouldn't we all respectfully accept it? Whatever report has said was the stand taken by the government representatives. The report only endorses that. And what Smriti Rani was speaking in parliament was proved incorrect the very next day. I doubt, I think this commission was set up, I am not sure, by the Ministry of HRD itself. Yes, it was. If it was uh, instituted by the Ministry of HRD, then this is a farce. It's, a former, it's farce. a former High Court judge though who headed the inquiry. It's a one-man commission. There are judges around in this country and, uh, and if a, a HRD ministry is going to find a judge who is, who is a former judge and who is, who, who, who is uh, 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 fair enough would not do because it is a prestige question for the entire government of India. It is a class of ideas between Dalit middle class and this government. It is a class of ideas between uh, Bausahab, Sang, RSS and Dalits. So government cannot now take a back seat whatever report has said was the stand taken by the government before. But let me ask you specifics. The inquiry commission says 
that Rohit was not even a Dalit by caste and that uh, that he that this whole Dalit issue, as they've put it, were mainly organized by left groups uh, and and you know who who basically uh, so, so, sort of uh, promoted that that particular aspect. Now, how important is that aspect according to you? Rohit Demula's mother is a Dalit, Mala. Rohit's brother is a Dalit. Rohit's sister is a Dalit. But father was. I have uh, I have written columns for ten years in uh, in Telugu. Her father was a OBC. And after seven years, he comes. After uh, thirteen years, he comes to know that his this lady is a Dalit. He married her unknowingly. The same day, he commits atrocities on her, throws out from her house. He is a double, uh, doubly cursed Dalits. They should have this much of sensitivity that the lady was thrown out of her house the moment her husband knew that she is a Dalit, and they say she is not a Dalit because she was born out of a OBC father. Okay, so you you are claiming that this report. By this inquiry commissioned by the former uh, judge of the Allahabad High Court, Justice Rupanwal, because it was set up by the HRD Ministry, has verbatim, word for word, gone with the government's version. You have no faith in it, Professor Rakesh. Who will have faith in this country? Okay, Mr. Prasad, very uh, uh, sort of very agitated with this report, doesn't believe it. What are your first thoughts? You see, democracy has right to agitate, but before agitating, he should read the report or should wait for rejecting the report. Premise that the report is a construct of to just to support the government. Yeah, I think it is a false premise. We should not go by the false premise. Look, whosoever commits suicide. How can suicide, we be sure it's who, not? No, whosoever commits suicide, whether he is a Brahmin, Dalit, or OBC, it is a matter of concern. And I, I accept this fact that Dalit students in his, uh, academic institutions suffer due to many reasons, due to their poverty, due to their caste due to the domination of so-called upper caste, due to the re reservation factors, the, they, are, they are being to sometimes tortured by the some casteist elements. This is the fact. But here it, uh, we are not discussing that question. Here we are discussing what was the reason for committing suicide. And when Judicial Commission goes to the de in the depth, it finds that the kind of propaganda was made by the big sign boards. I, I say these people big sign boards because in six decades, Intellectuals patronized by the state got a big sign boards. They have a particular kind of ideology, particularly when RSS and BJP emerged. Nidhi, can so we intervene? Can I intervene? They have been, no, uh, they, uh, let me, let me complete the, just yeah. 30 seconds. They, were they, they have been opposed to RSS, BJP. So any issue, the, the Dalit, my, my concern is that you are, you are using Dalit as your tool. N not no concern for their empowerment because it had it been. So you believe let that? Let me just huh. one second. Had it been so, then Ambedkarites have always Rajesh, been opposed to Rajesh RSS and was, BJP. Uh, and their ideas. Give me a second. Give me a second. Have patience. Have patience. Have patience. Don't worry. You have time. Prashant, uh, give me a second. Rajesh, Rajesh, who was killed in Kerala, is a Pulaya caste. He is a Dalit. So because he is a RSS man, so Rajesh Dalit identity is is of no use. Have no concern for that. N neither Chandrabhan Prasad nor left parties nor intellectuals come to give a, a, a single statement for Rajesh. So, so I find so that you're this, saying is, that this, this was, this, this this was a this death was well, okay, propaganda. I have concern, that for, was, the, I have the concern okay. for the family. I have concern for the mother. She lost her child. Whether she is a Dalit or non-Dalit, that, that is not my concern. And okay, I cannot let me comment get on the, the, the boy who, who committed suicide. Yeah, Prash but, Prash Prashant, but the propagandist Prashant was his must, be, must, must do so, soul searching. Uh, yes. uh, Prashant, let me yes, get you in on this. I know you're agitated about this report. Prashant, it is... It is a judicial commission of inquiry that has looked into this. Uh, are you also, do you also believe, like Chandrabhan Prasad does, that it, it amounts to nothing? It's a fixed match between the inquiry commission and the government? Yes, yes. I'll state this with evidence. First of all, this report is absolutely illegal and unethical because it has transgressed its terms of reference and gone into. Ex ex uh, examining the caste of Rohit Vimala, which was never part of its term of terms of reference. And there is a specific act, Andhra Pradesh Scheduled Caste, Scheduled Tribe, Backward Class Regulation of Issue of Community Certificate and Governing Act on uh, the rules of issuing this certificate. And it is according to which 
the district magistrate is the competent authority to issue a caste certificate and he is the sole authority to inquire into the claims of caste by any individual. Now according to which already district magistrate had submitted a report that uh, Rohit Vimala belongs to the scheduled caste category in the month of April. It is after this submission of report to the National Commission for Scheduled Caste that Justice Rupanwala Commission has, Justice Rupanwala has requested for extension of time in the month of May. It is after that that this all absolute bunch of lies have been created by an unethical illegal man who has headed this commission to favor his masters in Bharatiya Janta Party. And I take strong Prashad. objection so to Rakesh Sinha. How can you say this for an entire justice? Ambedkar Prashad, rights, please Ambedkar control rights have always been opposed to There is a limit to, to questioning the institutions of this country. It is because of that. We will not tolerate this, Prashant. I'm sorry, I'm intervening. I'm not supposed to intervene. It is because of that. But these kind of words only if it's true, sir, Ajanda, you're going to accept the report. Otherwise, you will not. Why not head this committee by the Polit Bureau of the left? Let the Polit Bureau head this committee then. And publish a report which suits your ideology. This is not going to be not acceptable. You cannot question justice. Justice's report is a retired justice. For God's sake, stop. Stop political scavengers on this issue. Uh, Rakesh, uh, Rakesh Sina, sort of people must have to apologize to no, the Prashant, community. Prashant, one second. Because by Prashant, Prashant, someone, Prashant, Prashant. Blaming, let me just you're, interrupt you're you there. Prashant, the image of Prashant, I understand sir. why you're upset. You're I understand that. But let's not, let's not, the, let's not name the, call, the, let's not call anybody names, whether they are justices or not justices. Let's, let's not resort to name calling and, and, and any of that. Let, let's just refrain from that. You made an important point. You made an important point. One second, one second. You made an important point because and if, if you're going to end up shouting then you're going to lose the, lose the substance of that yeah. point that point was prashant bhushan please, please, please about the district magistrate on, yeah. actually giving a report earlier which said that rohit was a dalit now i want to ask you two things one what do you think of this report two whether you also feel that it's transgressed its terms of reference as uh, rohit's friends and supporters have been saying today well, you see, <coughs> uh, it's very clear that uh, whether he was a Dalit or not a Dalit was not within the terms of his reference. And for him to say that uh, itself shows what was, the, uh, what was the object in his mind of preparing this report. This, this report shows that, in fact, uh, just because an inquiry commission is headed by a judge, is no guarantee of its integrity or, or no guarantee of its independence. Unfortunately, whenever an issue becomes a political issue like the Sikh riots or the Gujarat riots, etc., and where the government selects judges of an inquiry commission, etc., usually you find that the reports of such judicial inquiry commissions are very biased. Uh, are politically biased in favor of the government that has appointed that commission. And this is what has happened in this case also, seems to have happened in this case also. Well, because I, it has clearly gone maybe. beyond the terms of its reference. Okay. Well, uh, let me take that to Rajat. Uh, uh, what, what Prashant Bhushan is saying, that there is no guarantee of independence or integrity even if it is a judicial commission. Well, Nidhi, I have a strong objection to it. With all due respect to the departed soul, this report has done justice to bring to the surface an issue that our universities plague with. And that issue is of mental well-being and depression. A lot of uni uh, university students, not just from Dalits, across the board, are facing a lot of stress because of multiple reasons. It's social, society, setup, milieu, all these matters. It does matter. It has a strong impact on the mindset of a student. What this committee's principal recommendation is, the core recommendation is that we need to have effective grievance redressal mechanisms so that the universities are self-sufficient to cope up with these political issues uh, which arise in the universities. Now what has happened is for far too long, the political scavenging that has happened on this issue make it a Dalit issue, then once the, uh, the Judicial Commission tries to go into the details of it, see, the entire issue is embedded on this, uh, on this premise that this was a Dalit atrocity issue. But then you right? have the district magistrate's report that said oh, he fine. was a I Dalit. Mean, an individual uh, uh, respected retired justice, you can keep on questioning. I mean, right, uh, you can have a, a committee which is headed by your ideologues. You can make them sit. You can have the entire Politburo sit on this commission report. You can have the Congress Working Committee sit on it. We are not going to lead to anywhere. 
What I'm trying to tell you here is that once a justice report has come out, it has highlighted on rather non-political issues. It has highlighted on the university system and where all university systems need to quickly and urgently work on. We should take that recommendation and improve our university yeah, systems. Point. And that is a very important but aspect which gets absolutely you know, ignored because of the political narratives I from take across the aisle. But let me just be the devil's advocate and ask you, how can you Maybe say with certainty? Well, one second, second Prashant, one second, please, please, no interruptions. Time. We're going to try and do this, please, in a civilized way. How can we? How can you be sure Please. that this report wasn't one-sided? That there there aren't you know questions that are being raised. For instance, the contradictions about the caste issue, the events leading up to that, uh, to his death. There is still so much controversy about that and his earlier note, which he, you know which he had written to the college principal at the time, where actually he had lamented uh, about what was happening to Dalits in the university. Uh, should should these questions not be probed further? Precisely, and this is what exactly the judicial commission did. How can you say that one set of narrative that the entire one political class has been raking up over and over and over again has not, meant, has not reached a conclusion and it doesn't suit their political agenda, that they cannot rake up this issue any further. Now they're even questioning the very whole uh, uh, standards, the objective standards of the commission.